Okay, this is going to be your male urinary catheterization. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. My head might be cut off, but that's because I wanted you to get a good view. All right. Hi, Mr. Jones. I'm going to go ahead and do a urinary um, catheter insertion on you. We're going to give you a Foley. Looks like you've had some trouble urinating, so we just want to make sure that we've got that under control. Can I have your name and date of birth? All right, Jerry Jones, we have 9-4-1962. Uh, looks like you're allergic to Percocet. Are you allergic to iodine or latex or shellfish? No? Okay. What about, do you have a history of BPH or a past history of um, catheters that were um, hard to get in? No? Not that you know of? Okay. Well, that's good. I'm going to go ahead and clean this bedside table here first so we can get it all cleaned up and ready to go. Alrighty, here, go ahead, wipe this off. Alright, so today I've got my Foley catheter kit, I've got a pen, I've got my hand sanitizer, make sure that's within reach, and, and then if you need extra sterile gloves, if you um, can't fit the ones that are in here or whatnot, you need to grab those as well. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do, Mr. Jones, is perform some peri care. I'm on the right side because I'm right handed. If I was left handed, I'd want to be over on that left side. So with peri care, I would wash my hands, put on some clean gloves, I'd have my basin, um, I'd have at least two washcloths, and depending upon how dirty the patient was, um, and then a towel or one to dry with. I would use the no rinse soap, go ahead and I would fold it. Um, into the four corners or the mitten and then I would clean down the shaft um, with one and then on each side of the scrotum using a new side of the cloth each time. Um, I could rinse it then if I wanted to. Um, I could also have used that no rinse uh, soap and then I'd want to go ahead and pat dry. Get rid of those gloves and do some hand hygiene again. So I'm going to go ahead and assist you into the correct position here. So with our males, we want to, or both females and males, we want to make sure that the sheet is up and we can put it over their chest to ensure some privacy and dignity. I'm going to go ahead and expose your um, genital area. Okay, and for our mannequins, guys, what I'm thinking might work pretty well for the male is if you go ahead and place a place a blanket here over top of the thighs, okay, and then it will kind of make a little uh, a little table, okay. All right, we have got that under control. Go ahead, I'm going to do my hand hygiene. All right, Jerry, I'm going to go ahead. I think you're at a good height there. My table is at a good height still. I'm go ahead and move this over here now. That's out of my way. So the kit, it would be closed, and we're going to go ahead and open it this way pull my kit out and I can go ahead and get rid of this uh, thing right there. I don't need this. I do want to keep this for later use so I can go ahead and label the catheter at the end. Okay. Don't need that. Alright. Here's my kit. The first flap I want the first flap I want it to go 
away from me. Now remember, you only have that one inch barrier to touch, okay? As long as it doesn't fold over the side of the uh, table, you're good, okay? So I have another hand sanitizer here. You can go ahead and you can get rid of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and discard of that. Now in the hospital, they want you to use these wipes. So at this point, you would put gloves on and clean, but we don't do that for our check off in here. So I can go ahead and discard that as well. Then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this first drape here. I'm gonna move the table out of the way slightly so I don't contaminate my area. I'm gonna pick it up by the corners and you might, the first, when it's brand new, you might have to keep turning and turning and turning until all of it gets open. And then you're gonna go ahead and place it on the patient's thigh area, like so. Okay, then you're gonna proceed to come back to your tray here. And as I open up this last flap, I'm gonna kind of put it into a little square like that. I'm going to reach in and grab out my sterile gloves. If you needed your own set of sterile gloves, you would take them, put them over there and open them. Still in the package, still wrapped up, I mean, but you'd open them from this thing right here and put them over there. Just need one pair. And then you're gonna go ahead and from the corner, grab your fenestrated drape. You're gonna go ahead, make sure you can see here, and open it up. And you can either do it long ways or vertical or horizontal. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna go ahead and place it like that. We want the, uh, the penis to be in view of the drape, just like that. Okay, all right. So then I'm gonna come around. I'm gonna make sure that my stuff is within reach here of my area before I put on my sterile gloves. That way I don't need to touch the table. I'm gonna move this trash can with my feet out of the way here. Do, 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 do. Come over to the side. So I'm still in view of my both of my sterile fields here. Now you need to watch out because when you put your sterile gloves on, you don't want the package to go over top of this drape you have here. Okay, that's why I'm kind of off to the side here. Opening it, opening it up. I've got my right hand that I'm gonna put on here. So I pick it up with my left. My hands are up to the ceiling. Go ahead and pull it down. Remember my, my thumb stays up. If I need to come in with my other hand, I can go ahead and do that. Thumb, where are you? Camera. Thumb is up the whole time and I bring it down. All right, so we've got the mail going on here, right? So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and open all the stuff up in my kit. I don't need this urine specimen thing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. I'm just gonna drop it off into my trash can without going below my table. I'm gonna go ahead and open these swab sticks. Now, you're going to open them for your checkoff, the real ones. Uh, okay, be careful, because it can go everywhere. You can go ahead and pull them out of the kit. Be careful, they kind of, there, that's okay. Okay. Then what you need to do is you need to make sure you're within that one inch border and you're gonna pull the top off of your tray. You go ahead and take the cap off of the lubricant as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the catheter carefully out of its wrapper, set it back down in drop the wrapper off to the side without touching the um, bottom or anything. I'm gonna come around a little bit to grab my uh, sterile water. Drop the cap over there. And I'm gonna look for the port. So I wanna make sure you can see this here. Okay, so the sterile water just um, goes directly onto that port it doesn't really twist, but you can twist it a little bit to make sure that it's in there. Now, I would like to take note of 
where the catheter is located within my kit. So here's my catheter. It's going this, this way like that. So when I go to put it towards the patient, I want it to face that like towards the patient so that I'm not coming up and it might not flip over, flip around. So we're good. We've got my syringe attached, my water syringe. I've got my Foley here in the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the tray, place it back onto the box, put the box in the middle. My lubricant lid is off of the lubricant. And then what you can do is we're going to bring it on over to my sterile field over here. I'm going to go ahead and bring the whole thing because you can if you want to. So I will show you how to go about doing that. So I'm going to bring this over like so. Okay. I'm going to bring my kit just like that. So you remember how the edge of the, um, like this one inch right here, really wasn't sterile still. I had that one inch border, so I picked my kit up, brought it over top of that one inch, and now we're good. We don't care about the bottom of the kit being unsterile, the box, okay? We just need the swabs and all that kind of stuff that's in the kit. And see, you can see with the blanket underneath, it's a lot easier to go ahead and um, stabilize your kit and everything right on top of the male thighs. Okay, you ready? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, with my non-dominant hand, pick the penis up and I'm going to, you need to uh, verbalize, you're retracting the foreskin back, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my first swab stick don't really touch the mannequin, but you're going to say, I'm cleaning in a circular motion, starting at the meatus and going down the glands of the penis, and then I'm dropping that swab stick right there in the front. Therefore, you don't need to worry about, um, don't come back over your sterile field with that dirty swab. Okay? So you do that a total of three times. One, two, and then three. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to pick up that lubricant. You're going to verbalize, I'm picking up the lubricant, you're, well, you're picking it up. Place the tip of the syringe into the urethra of the penis, and you're going to instill, I'm instilling the 10 ml of um, lubricant into the meatus of the penis. Get rid, drop it right there. So go from there, drop it right there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the top of this, it was there, you're going to put it back there so that it's out of the way, okay? Make sure that the penis is perpendicular to the body. Then with your sterile hand, which is back from the tip of the um, catheter here, you're going to go ahead and you're going to insert the catheter into the urethra. If resistance is met, I would pause, have the patient deep breathe, bear down, I would retract the um, catheter slightly, turn it, um, rotate it gently, try to push again. I don't want to force the catheter, however, um, if resistance is met again or if the patient is in pain, I'm going to stop. Note the level of insertion, so how many centimeters up that second uh, resistance was met. And then I would pull it out and notify the MD. I don't want any pain or any blood when I'm doing the catheter. So you're going to put the male catheter uh, insertion all the way into the Y port. So that's as far as mine is going to go in. Okay, so I would verbalize, I would push it all the way to the can you see, to the port of the Y. It's about an inch um, under that, or ahead of that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to stabilize the catheter at the insertion site. So I'm just holding the catheter with my sterile hand. With my dirty hand, I'm letting go of the penis at this time, coming under my sterile hand, and I'm inserting the balloon. 
okay? You have to hold pressure, hold pressure. I'm holding the plunger in. If I let go, it starts filling back up with the fluid, and you don't want that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pull, at, while still holding pressure, pull down at that Y site to check to make sure that it is secure. Your sterile hand then comes down at that orange part and you twist off the sterile water thingy. Okay? So then you clean all of this stuff out of here. Up, you can take this out of here and place it here for the moment. You're gonna clean up all of this stuff you've got going on here. Rip this off. Um, if when you're practicing, don't rip off the drape, but when you go for your check off, you can rip that drape off. You're going to discard everything in the trash. Uh, I've got items. Okay. Take this off. Do some hand hygiene. I would put some gloves on because just because I don't want to, you know, get contaminated or anything. All right. So now you need to place the catheter in here. You can also at this time verbalize that you're replacing the foreskin back over top of the catheter. Um, you're placing it correctly into the stat lock. There is an arrow on the outside of the stat lock that needs to be facing up towards the patient and then you should be able to get it in correctly. You close that. Make sure that the tubing is going over top of the patient's leg and then you are going to secure it to a non-moving part of the bed. All right. You can also, if you want to, talk about how you would do some peri care if you needed to. Okay. Put the patient back in a comfortable position. And then you need to grab your um, date and time and all that stuff. So one of these goes on to the bag. The big long one goes on the bag and then the other one here there's a short one um, goes around the actual catheter um, to make sure that that gets changed appropriately. So we got one on the catheter, one down on the bag. You can uh, put them back in a comfortable position the head back down. And then you need to um, put the syringes into the sharps container. So you would do that. This one doesn't have one. I would do that in the other. Uh, put it in the sharps container. All right. So that is your Mayo Foley.